Well, hello there. I am back today for another big haul, and this time it's all a surprise. So I was sent this very exciting box that I'm very eager to open from the sponsor of today's video, who are Books to Door. And Books to Door are an online bookshop which sell a lot of affordable box sets in particular. When I was like perusing their website, I was overwhelmed by the selection of bookish box sets that you could get at such a fantastic price. They've been around since 2004 specialising in children's and YA literature but recently they've also expanded into adult literature so I believe from what I am aware there is a selection of adult YA and children's books in here which as I'm sure you can guess is going to be quite a few and I'm really quite excited about opening this. I did um, let them know some of the books that I was interested in and then they had some suggestions of books they thought I would like. So basically I'm going to open up this box, I'm going to see what's inside and we're going to experience this haul for the first time together. I also believe there's a little something in here that I'm going to give away to some of you guys so stay tuned to find out what that is. Right so let's bring you down here for a moment so that I can share this this first opening experience well <laughs> um, I believe the books are probably underneath this oh my goodness <gasps> have you ever seen such an exciting sight I don't think I have I don't even know where to start I'm very overwhelmed right now look at all these books okay okay let's bring you back up so that I can pull these books out together so I believe one of the sets here is already split up. So let's bring those out. Okay, I am so excited about this. This is the fantasy trilogy, The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. So this is book one, The Bear and the Nightingale. Then we have book two, which is The Girl in the Tower, and book three, which is The Winter of the Witch. And this is a series that I have heard incredible things about. This is a series that just seems to be beloved by all. It's one of those fantasy series that seems to appeal to those who aren't regular fantasy readers as well. Like it sounds quite luscious and quite detailed in terms of its writing. So it's got something going for it for lots of different types of reader. And I've been meaning to read it for the longest time. It's even recommended by Robin Hobb here on the front, who's one of my favorite fantasy authors. And now I have the complete trilogy, which I mean, are these not stunning? I can't get over how beautiful these editions are just as a set and this really is like the final straw. I cannot not read these now. I have no choice and I will finally get around to them after having been recommended them by a million of all of you. Seriously, everyone tells me I love this series. So book one, if you aren't familiar, it says that in a village at the edge of the wilderness of northern Russia, where the winds blow cold and the snow falls many months of the year, an elderly servant tells stories of sorcery, folklore and the winter king to the children of the family, tales of old magic frowned upon by the church. But for the young wild Vasya, these are far more than just stories. She alone can see the house spirits that guard her home and sense the growing forces of dark magic in the woods. Now that I think about it, none of that sounds particularly familiar to me. It's as if I've been recommended this book, planned on reading this book, but never really familiarised myself with what it's about. I knew there was a lot of folk tale inspiration and that sounds as if it is true. So yes, I am so excited about these. Also, look at the back of book three. <laughs> this one is really beautiful. So yes, these are all available as a set at a discounted price on Books to Door. So then I think we have this little set, which is what I plan on giving away. And it is a beautiful Sherlock Holmes set specifically for children. So this is the Sherlock Holmes children's collection, Shadows, Secrets and Stolen Treasure by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, made appropriate for younger readers. So as you can tell, there's quite a few little books in here and actually a lot of the Sherlock Holmes mysteries were originally short stories so they were quite short to begin with. It includes A Study in Scarlet which is the book in which Holmes and Watson meet. It's their first adventure together, it's the beginning of the series. We then have The Sign of Four, The Blue Carbuncle, The Speckled Band, The Red-Headed League, The Regent Squires, The Naval Treaty, The Sussex Vampire, The Veiled Lodger and The Three Students. So like I said Books to Door did mention that they wanted to send me this box set because as I'm sure you're all aware at this point I am a die 
die-hard Sherlock Holmes fan. I cannot get enough Sherlock Holmes in my life and I actually first got into Sherlock Holmes when I was around 11, 12 years old and this collection is particularly appropriate for 7 and up. So I thought as much as it would be nice to own another collection of Sherlock Holmes books, which I do collect, I would love to share that with somebody else, especially since, like I said, I got into the books and the TV adaptations and the films as a child, so this is just like the perfect way to introduce a younger reader to the series and I think they're fantastic in all forms, in all adaptations, so I would really really love to give this set away so someone can experience the joy that I did when I was younger for the first time. If you know a younger reader therefore and would like to win this box set to give to them, please do mention in your comment down below that you'd like to be entered into the giveaway, just um, include somewhere in your comment that you would like to win the Sherlock Holmes books and I will use a random number generator to pick a winner in a few days, but if you are planning on entering the giveaway then please make sure you're within the UK or Ireland and then obviously if you don't win this box set is available for a really affordable price on the books to door website as are all of these books so let's crack on with the next books in this box okay I don't know which ones to go for right these are the ones I'm gonna pick up next okay I am so excited about this. This is the complete collection of Roald Dahl's adult short stories. So Roald Dahl is probably best known for his children's books. They are absolute classics. Many of us have at least seen a film adaptation if we haven't read one of them. But he also wrote a lot of creepy adult short stories. And this is the Penguin editions of those short stories in themed collections. So let me take these out of the packaging. So this is all of them here. Like I said, they're themed. So we have the War, Tales of Conflict and Strife collection. We have the Innocence, Tales of Youth and Guile collection. Trickery, Tales of Deceit and Cunning. Fear, Tales of Terror and Suspense. Like I want to read this right now because that's exactly what I'm in the mood for. <laughs> Deception, Tales of Intrigue and Lies. Madness, Tales of Fear and Unreason. Cruelty, Tales of Malice and Greed. And then lastly, Lust, Tales of Craving and Desire. So that comes to eight books in total. So this set is available of eight books on the Books to Door website. And I have actually been debating buying some of these individual collections myself for quite some time, but not sure which one to choose. I have read some of these stories in their original form, so when they first came out Roald Dahl published them under headed short story collections like you would expect and there's one collection called Kiss Kiss which I got out of the library a few years ago and read and really enjoyed. Super creepy. Like if you can imagine the sort of creepiness of Roald Dahl's children's books but for adults then you've got a pretty clear idea of what you're getting and he is, was a brilliant writer. So I've always been drawn to these collections that Penguin sort of created and bound up in the in this form um, to try more of them and I think this will be the perfect excuse to do it. Like I said I think I might start with the fear collection because I love just how um, straightforward tales of terror and suspense that is. This just sounds brilliant. Plus I really enjoy this illustration on the front which is of a lighthouse. This is cover artwork by Charming Baker. Well they've done a pretty good job of sort of getting across that creepy vibe with this image. I'm really really drawn to that so I mean amazing. Like I cannot believe that I now own all of Roald Dahl's short stories in these lovely editions. Like it's a good start to the day guys, it's a good start to the day. We have two more sets so let's go with the smaller of the two first and it is these lovely, okay, okay so if you can't tell already how beautiful these books are, this is a series that I have meant to pick up for quite a few years now but just haven't gotten around to it and it's a children's book series, a little bit of like a humorous mystery series for children called The Goth Girl Books by Chris Riddell who is also a very well known illustrator and has the most beautiful, beautiful drawing style which I think is also part of these books so let's have a look at them. Okay so this is the Goth Girl trilogy and I've always loved the designs of these books. So we've got Goth Girl and the Ghost Mouse which I believe is book one and it has this beautiful purple foiling on the uh, edges of the paper. These are just gorgeous and like I said Chris Riddell is also an illustrator so these books are full of his fantastic 
illustrations. For real though, these are absolutely gorgeous. I would highly recommend following Chris Riddell on Instagram as well because he shares a lot of his doodles and even a Chris Riddell doodle is a work of art. So that's book one. We then also have Goth Girl and The Wuthering Fright which sounds a little bit like it might be inspired by um, Wuthering Heights. And then lastly we have Goth Girl and the Sinister Symphony. I don't think I showed you but this one has gorgeous blue foiling. Oh, these are published by Pan Macmillan, <laughs> my old employer, always a fan of their designs. The children's team, the children's design team at Pan Macmillan are spectacular. And then we have these gorgeous green foiled edges on the third one. This set however also included Ottoline and the Purple Fox, which is actually the first book in another of Chris Riddell's children's book series. So I wasn't expecting that and that's super exciting now to have both of these. Oh I would have loved this as a kid as well. I mean I love it as an adult but it's got little pull outs at the back. Pull outs and books when I was a child. You couldn't get any better than that. If you're not familiar though, let me tell you what Goth Girl is about. Meet Ada Goth. She lives in Ghastly Gorm Hall with her father, Lord Goth. Lots of servants and at least half a dozen ghosts. But she hasn't got any friends to explore her enormous creepy house with. Then one night, everything changes when Ada meets a ghostly mouse called Ishmael. Together they set out to solve the mystery of the strange happenings at Ghastly Gorm Hall. And get a lot more than they bargained for. This just sounds brilliant and I have been absolutely adoring my middle grade of late, really really enjoying that. And then if you're interested on the back of Ottoline it says all their old friends are coming and some new ones as well. The mysterious purple fox is their special guest and he has some amazing tales to tell when he offers to take Ottoline and Mr Monroe on a midnight safari of big city. How can they possibly refuse? I mean I, I don't think I would be able to. There's a little glance of the inside illustrations of that one as well. As you can tell Chris Riddell really has his own unique style and it's brilliant and perfect for children's literature. So although I have read books illustrated by Chris Riddell in the past, I've never actually read a book that he has also written so that makes this extra fun and it'll be really nice to try his writing for the first time because I've heard brilliant brilliant things. We then have the last set in this box and it is a hefty one. Let me tell you, I'm just looking at the size of some of the books in this in this series and I'm overwhelmed but excited. And it is <laughs> the Earth's Children series, which is made up of six books, as you can see there. Now allow me just to unpackage these ones as well so we can both get a better look at what's inside. I am so excited about this. They're a lot harder to pick up when they're not in cellophane. <laughs> but this is the full series here if you can see that. And this starts with the Clan of the Cave Bear. So like I mentioned, this series starts with Clan of the Cave Bear and I have always wanted to read this series ever since I first learned about it. It is, I'm not even sure exactly what you'd call this. I guess it's historical fiction, but it's actually set in the prehistoric era. So I believe it's set during the time in which Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthals coexisted on Earth, which was for like, you know, a few thousand years, um, both those species coexisted. And there are lots of different theories about like why Homo sapiens survived and Homo neanderthals didn't. Lots of people believe they just interbred and it was the Homo sapiens genes that uh, were stronger. But despite having actually studied this period in time at university back in my first year of my undergrad, I have never read historical fiction set during it, have you? How much historical fiction is even written set during this time? I don't know because I don't feel like it's a lot but this series gets so much praise and so highly raved about that I've always wanted to read it. Book one is all about Ayla's journey. Now orphaned by an earthquake at the age of five, Ayla is left without family or people until she is adopted by the clan, a group of Neanderthal. Ayla inspires first surprise, then weariness and finally acceptance by the clan. She is cared for by its medicine woman Isa and its wise holy man Kreb. Only their future leader, Browd, is not willing to accept this strange woman. Consumed with hatred, he does all he can to destroy her. But Ayla bears the mark and the spirit of her totem, the cave lion. She is a survivor. Now I believe Ayla is a homo sapien, so she is brought into this Neanderthal family and some trust her and some don't. But like I mentioned, this is a six book series, so we also have The Valley of Horses, The Mammoth Hunters, Plains of Passage, which is that incredibly huge one that was scaring me at the beginning. But to be fair, at least I'll have read the first three by the time I get to this one, so I'll probably be less scared by the size and more excited about this size and then we have the shelters of stone and the land of painted caves which is book six and the final book in the series and like I said I've always meant to read these so having the full series is kind of incredible and a real sort of 
push in the right direction. I mean, again, having a box set of an entire series really encourages you to get started because you need to get onto the sequels since they're right there waiting for you. And these are just stunning, honestly. I am so excited about this series. This is another one a bit like the Bear in the Nightingale series that so many people recommend to me on a regular basis. And I have heard those recommendations and I have put them on my TBR, but just haven't gotten around to them. So this is fantastic news for me. And like I said, you can get this entire series in one on the Bookstore website. I am kind of amazed by the selection on their website. And although I'm incredibly grateful for them having sent me all of these box sets, I cannot lie and say that I won't be back on their browsing myself in the future, because I noted a few others that might be of interest to me and are just such great prices, particularly if you're interested in series because they can often add up. But let me see if I can actually hold up all of these books. I feel like it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Let's try though, let's try. Oh, ow, okay. <laughs> wow! Okay, this is amazing. Um, I'm in awe and this has been a great Sunday. So thank you so much Books to Door for sending me all of these books and sponsoring this video as well as providing me this lovely box set to give away. So like I mentioned before, if you would like to win this Sherlock Holmes children's collection, then just leave in your comment down below. Don't worry if you want to leave a comment and not enter the giveaway, just don't mention that you want to enter the giveaway and I will pay attention to who has said and who hasn't and then run all of them through a random number generator and also make sure that you have an address in the UK or Ireland that I can send this to. In the meantime, however, I would love to hear if you have read any of these series or any of these collections. Do short story, like, collections or box sets kind of series? Probably not. And which one you think I should prioritise? I know there are some fans of a few of these watching this video right now because I've spoken to you all in the past. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks once again to Books to Door for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out. They will be linked in the description box down below as well as the individual links to all of these box sets. And until next time, happy reading. I will see you all again soon. Bye everyone.